improv. And at one of the scenes, like I, Jessel was my intern and I was Jenna Lyons. And we, when I tell you, we were crying tears. Like we were laughing so hard. We were all had to like do That's each funny. other. We had so much fun. That like sticks out. It was really fun. What about the opposite? I mean, Anguilla also. <laughs> like that was a lot that happened in Yeah, that wasn't great. That didn't feel great. I think the hot tub was the lowest point for me. I hadn't felt like that since I was like, you know, a, a kid. Really? Yeah, it was like rough. Yeah. How has your husband been like with this? How how was Abe? Like was he did he have reservations? You know, you get the job, you talk to the family, like or was it like, no, let's just go for this? And we now that it's aired. it happened fast. Like it was yeah. really quick. I was I was recommended and then it was like a month and a half. It wasn't like I know some of the other girls have been talking to the producers for years, literally years. I didn't even know they were rebooting. So for me it was like very um I don't know. It just was like, yeah, why not? Like, let's do it. I actually got, I tell people this because I think it's so crazy, but I got the offer letter, like the official one on my 35th birthday, like on my birthday. Wow. Isn't that crazy? I'm like, this might be meant to be. That is crazy. And you know, you were born and raised in New York. Just, I don't know. That just adds a little. I'm really the only one. Yeah. And I think I love that because the people that know me, like I have, I mean, I'm still best friends with all my high school friends with my friends since I'm two, some of them, like I'm like really close with them. And they know that, that I'm like a real New Yorker in that way because we're all very similar, you know? So Do you like me just a little bit better now that we are like, course. when we talk, I'm like, no, I'm, 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 I'm like a New Yorker too. Yeah. <laughs> I like spending time out here though. It's nice. It's nice, right? Yeah. Do you, who was in talks for years and months and forever? I know they spoke to Sai for years. I know that they were talking to Uba for a long time. Um, Jenna was very last minute too. I think like weeks. Like Uba and Sai, like for the prior incarnations, like season 13, 12. No, I, I don't think they were ever going to join the old cast, but I think I just know that they were talking, like they were one of the first. They were, when wow. they were thinking about the reboot, they were talking to them. I think Sai was like really from the wow. beginning. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will you and Uba have had your moments this season? Yes, Anguilla, you did a little hijacking. We had a reunion. She said she doesn't want any Karens. You said, Yeah, that right wasn't nice. That wasn't nice, right? That was not nice. And she came in hot, I thought, to the mm -hmm. reunion. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys worked it out, right? Yeah. Like, where are you today? Great. Really great. I love her. I, listen, it was a really difficult thing that happened. Um, obviously, looking back, I wish I didn't take the phone. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I'm one of five. Like, we get into things. Like, we get into arguments like it's normal for me and though she did get very like heated and honestly I think now looking back I understand why she got heated it wasn't even so much about the phone there were so many other things that I think she was hurt about and I look at it like it was a way for me to understand her better like I know what upsets her you know right. you know the hot buttons now yeah well I, I think it was more than that it was like you know we were at first we were talking about staying in a room together and then I was like, I want to be alone. Like I just, I'm away from my husband and kids. I think like there were a few things. What? Yes. There were a few things. Yeah. To me, it's like, oh my God, take my wallet, take it, my everything. Just please. Like I, I'm one of those. If I can't find yeah, my phone, I, I go. I get it. Listen, I, I get it. I, tr I truly do get it. I really do. What do you think, like, so that's good. You guys are in a good place. You're resolved. I mean, that's what we do you. so much fun together, Uba and I. You do? Like, it's like tears of laughter. The same thing. Like, we just have fun. So that's like, you know, when you have, you know, when you have a friend like that, yeah. it's hard to find. So you don't want to lose that. So we're both like, let's just have fun again together, you know? What do you think, it doesn't have to do with you, just in general as a cast, like, what do you think is the most unresolved issue leaving the reunion or e that's heading into season 15. Maybe it happened after the reunion. There's a lot. There's not one thing. Like what? Like what's one example of something you think is just as a cast is unresolved? I'm not going to say, but there are a lot. Really? Yeah, I think so. More stuff that's kind of come up since the reunion or just both. unresolved? Yeah, both. both. Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, Andy Cohen said, you know, he said at the reunion, we saw it, that there's never been this many tissues ever in a reunion. Oh, my God, it was like a reunion. therapy session. It was a little much. Are you like a crier in real life or did you I like, am. I'm a cancer. I'm okay. sensitive. 
um, when they didn't show those scenes of me and my family. But um, yeah, it was, I think it was just like, it was a lot for us the whole season. And I think it just all came out of the reunion. And people had gone through a lot that year. Like my mom went through a really bad health issue. Um, like Jenna had just lost her mother, you know, things right. were coming up for Bryn. Uba, you know, had to relive her mother. I mean, it was just like a, everyone was going through it. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. Well, one of the things that came up at the reunion, Uba said, you know, that she feels there's two Jennas. You know, there's a Jenna that's like a boss babe outside of, or I think she used a different word, powerhouse. And, mm -hmm. you know, like on screen, it's sweet, innocent Jenna. Basically, I felt implying like, you know, Jenna is is a boss babe in real life as a powerhouse and, you know, maybe sometimes t t tones it down for the camera. Do you agree with this? I think Jenna is um, – I just think she has a different way of dealing with things. Now that I've gotten into like to know her better as a friend, she just deals with conflict and issues differently. She's not like a straight shooter. Like she won't just say exactly what she thinks like me or Uva. You know, it just it's just a different way of dealing with things. It's not neither bad or good. And I think that the two of them, they do have a connection. They do. Uva and Jenna. Some people, it's it's an L.A. thing. It's kind of like an L.A. vibe. Like Maybe. People, like, you know. Yeah, she's a California girl. Yeah. And yeah. you just kind of say it how it is. It's just like, and you know what? I think there's something sweet about it because she's just a bit more delicate than maybe we are. Right. Um, but it's just different. We're just different and we're all navigating each other. Because I thought Uber was implying, you know, like Jenna turns it on or is presenting a Jenna to the audience that she wants people to see. I don't think that's what Uber meant. Okay. I think she meant that you just see different things. Like, like for example, she said, when you, when there's conflict, you go into the other room and she kind of did, you know? So. Yes. Who do you think does turn it on or is trying to present a version of themselves that may not be as authentic? Oh, you're as getting shady. Are? Well, you know, you do, like we were just saying you do Jeff Lewis's show. I mean, we're going to talk about your Mezcal brand. <sighs> we're going to talk about, I just bought a new apartment in New York. You did? We're going to talk I about your, you know, Douglas. We have a lot to talk about here, but you can, we're going to plug lots of stuff, but I'm just <laughs> curious. <laughs> Who do you know? I mean, you know. I'll let the viewers take a stab at that. I think it's pretty clear who turns it on. I have my own visions of that too, but yes. Yeah. Some people turn it on, right? Yeah. Some people turn it on and think it's, you know, working. Some people, you know, I mean, listen, everybody, you have to turn it on a little when you're in that confessional, yeah. you know? Who do you think then, let me rephrase and ask a different question. I am a lawyer actually. I don't practice you anymore. Yes. But regardless, but we're having a nice little chat. I'm not being shady. But who do you think, you know, listen, you guys are now famous. That's that's what it is. Like, I who don't do you feel think? that way. You don't? No. You no. went to BravoCon? Did you, were you 